Welcome to the Rubicon Show. We have a little bit of drama today. Uh, the 888 NFT drop. Some weird stuff's going on. We'll give you our opinions on it. I'm actually curious on your opinion on it. Uh, Tristan, you've got the tabs pulled up, so shall we jump straight in? Yep. So there's a little background before I jump right into it of who 888 is. So it'll, it'll take not too long. It'll take a couple of minutes to go through. But important 888 is... Huh? Very important to know because they're a very it's, big player. Um, 888 has this thing. After a while, it came out with this thing called the 888 Inner Circle. Um, currently, there are... I think there's 8,800... 88 of them and then the floor price is one ETH. This had 20,000 ETH in um, secondary market sales, which is a lot. And you can really see over time that it's gradually built his, he or she, I, we're assuming he could be very wrong, but we're going to be referring to he for the rest of this. Um, gradually climbed in value because they provided lots of value. They've had multiple drops, which we won't actually go into. Um, but you can see here, there's a steep drop off, which is the drama. But again, before we get into the drama, I would like to just go through 888. 888 is uh, like... No. Hmm? Because I was confused. Uh, I didn't know if it was a group or an NFT or something. 888 is an actual person. Is a person. Uh, and they're very vocal on Twitter, a big NFT influencer, and owns some very prominent art, which just is about to shape. Um whale of all whales except for one other guy who's also just bought the um latest crypto punk for eight thousand ETH. but if you have a look here my extension which i don't actually recommend getting because i don't know what it does on the back end until i figure that out we'll just <laughs> look at it you can see here he's got the rank two board eight yacht club the rank nine or 15 whichever rankings you go off and another top 10 percent like here is tens of millions of dollars of value um, this board eight honorary thing, never heard of before, 150 ETH floor. There's 35 of them and they're people to help bring, a, who help brought awareness to board eight yacht club, which is interesting. So he's been around for a long time as well. And the whale, it just quickly go through the rest. Boss beauties got the rank number two boss beauty. Um, yeah. cool cats. Got the rank number 42, Cool Cat, which again, massive. Cool Cat's definitely a blue chip. On one, unfortunate for him. Got the rank number one. And then also a fair few high rank ones, including ones bought for 24 ETH here, 9.5 ETH here, 9.9, .9, which all these are worth are worthless now, basically. Also, uh, has... what is the on, on one for? Because on one uh, was a very hyped up collection for those of you who don't know that flopped. Uh, yeah, the, the devs basically did nothing. We have touched on it in a previous episode, um, but yeah, the devs basically did nothing and it had a lot of people behind it. What's the floor? Uh, 0.62. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Adam Bob Squad, a 25,000 piece thing that's actually done very well. He's got the rank one Adam Bomb Squad, 72 ETH. And like it goes on and on. If you go through a lot of these things, he's basically just a whale. And then was like, I have a lot of pool. I have a lot of influence. These are some of the things that purchased a $1.3 million purchase of art. A couple of $1.5 million sales six months ago of Board 8 Yacht Club when you had the number seven rank. Um, just things like this. There's lots of them. And from looking at this, you can tell he's got money. He has an inner circle, which is netting him money. Roughly netted him 2 to $3 million in royalties from just this sale. Um. And so you'd think, oh, okay, great. Being a part of the inner circle with someone who's got money probably means you get lots of value out of it, which you have until this. Benjamin? So this is where the story takes a turn, which is very interesting. And actually, before we jump into exactly why it's taking a turn, uh, it's really cool to see uh, people who I feel like feel like they are almost untouchable and everything that they touch inflates because they have the social influence. It's that weird like paradox where like Gary V recommends something that does really well, but only because Gary recommended it. And Gary's very mindful of what he recommends. Um, but some people in the space are not mindful and uh, quite uh, greedy and selfish. And uh, when people are greedy and selfish, you know, the rest, everybody else will tell them. Um, 
and they'll get some backlash and hopefully then they start to think about other people when they continue to to promote things but this is a sort of a turning point or at least something for 888 to think about because i was a little shocked when you showed me this morning they're doing uh, a collection with a uh, world renowned i don't know who they are um producer dj called bt um, bt is do you very know BT? old yes i do know bt oh cool so maybe he's bigger than i originally um, thought and gala games as well so it's not gala games has a two billion dollar um market cap thing, market cap so it's massive massive collection which is fair enough yeah, yeah so so three big names uh, i'm guessing ada is more the promoter than the, the creator of it offering offering whitelist to the inner circle is that right they're not offering actual um reserve for 888 is reserved for the inner circle by burning three Genesis pieces, which I assume these are the Genesis pieces, which are $3,000. So you have to burn $9,000 worth just to get on the whitelist, just to pay uh, at Dutch auction, 11.11 ETH and nine ETH. Going down to only 8.88. I saw this and I saw the backlash because I actually didn't see this tweet first. And I was like, starting at 11 ETH is okay if it's a Dutch auction. If it goes to zero. The but, Dutch auction, but if you don't know what Dutch auction is, Gary V did it with his V friends. You start at a high price, say 11 ETH, and every second it ticks down or every minute it ticks down until it hits a certain point or until it hits zero or until someone purchases it. So it has that scarcity element, like someone might grab it before I do. Um, so it normally works really well, but when you put a such a high floor, such as once it goes to 0.88, 8.88 ETH, it's not going to go under it's a very high price to be it's ridiculous yeah. it's so much money to pay obviously we have seen many 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 nft collections with more quantity go be worth more than this but to start out a genesis or whatever it's not even a genesis the thing for this price has received lots of backlash understandably um this is actually was a great tweet i saw which actually brought my my, my eyes to it it was like when the Alien Punk sold for 8,000 ETH, it nearly broke Twitter. However, 888 is trying to extract the minimum 21,000 ETH from the ecosystem just from that drop. Insane. It's it's such, um, it, and to put this into dollars, I believe it's north of uh, 60 to $80 million, depending on what price they get minted at and depending on um, uh, the price of ETH. But um, that's, it's crazy to think in any other business. So that's 63 million. I believe that is at the um, 8.88. I believe at the 11. Yeah, it's it's, he said minimum in the tweet. Minimum, yeah. Which if any other business or any other uh, corporation, ecosystem, whatever you want to call it, uh, in the traditional world did something like that, you'd be like, that's just in, absolutely insane. Especially because, and in the NFT world, it gets confusing because people use like, weird language about what the nft is actually offering and in reality it's a bit of music exclusive music in a picture of an orb and it's like they could build upon it in the future yes but at the moment it, they're using all this crazy um terminology to to make it look like there is utility there but i as far as i can look at there's not very much utility or and they don't even get the rights uh to their music yeah, um, I didn't know about the music part, but it's funny. It's whenever people get told this is the value of something, everyone hates it. A lot of new uh, drops are actually failing because people are told, oh, this is worth this much. This is a mint price. And then on the flip side, Invisible Friend, which is what people are calling the most hype NFT project ever. They have only 5,000 of them, 100% whitelist. They could literally charge probably three ETH each, but their, their mint price is 0.25. Um, it's, that's it's, coming out in, I think, one week. And I am predicting a 12 ETH, ETH pre-reveal floor. Whoa. So you're going to try and get into one? I can't. No. <laughs> it's, it's long gone. It's long gone. That would be an insane... You should be able to buy one on OpenSea. Someone will buy and flip. Um, yeah, so all the ETH. No, I reckon you... I don't think... Because there's always people like... Even with like Alex Becker's drop... Some of them are selling in really high. They'll be botted. They'll be botted. Um, it'll be 100% botted up to, because Tasty Bones just released, which is a 5,000 collection. They're up to 2 ETH floor pre-reveal. And Invisible Friends is 20 times more hyped. 
people um, will not uh, people on the white list will not be selling for less than 80 because that's what hape was at and it'll be a lot more than that wow yeah so uh moral of the story once again as the moral of the don't story be greedy because you can be make greedy. the same money anyway if you're not greedy because if this drop was truly hyped and fantastic and worth that much money the price would rise to that over time and you can get the secondary market sales and also you could like release them staggered as well like you, they yeah. could have got to that price without having to drag their name and reputation through the month that they've worked so hard for yeah yeah it all comes crashing down and when you zoom out even further you think in decades 20 30 years it's like are you the person that nobody trusts anymore or are you the person that literally and, yeah, yeah gary v influence because gary v has never done something for his benefit over his community um also he quite obviously has 20 million dollars you wouldn't be buying a piece of art for 1.5 million you wouldn't be holding three of the top 20 apes when they're at the current price if you don't have the money so it's it's a super interesting thing that's going on i don't understand it personally there's be liquidity um you could just sell their you saw you've got so many he's got six apes whatever and two of them are in the top 10 yeah, so on um, yes, the thing is, if you see these memes popping around about 8.88 or 11.11, these this is where it's coming from, which is thought we thought was interesting. Yeah, let us know what you think. Is it a cash grab? Is it uh, selfish, or is Ooh, it? Follow us on Twitter. Oh, and once again, we're putting these at the back for to reward the people who stay at the end. Follow us on Twitter. Any um, whitelist spots we're working with companies to try and get on your behalf. Anything that we're uncovering, all these opportunities where we're making some money in this space we are going to start putting it on Twitter first. We do have one coming on our next main channel video, hopefully, as long as they're happy with the time frame for Tunes headphones. So check it out. They're going to be offering us a moon pass. Don't really know fully about it. I'm going to do more research. If it's not in the video, it's because I didn't like it, but check it out. Check it out. Follow us. It's in the, the link in the description down there. See you guys in the next one.